Sí. Ok. Para preparar para floor production. Ajá, uh -huh. you are doing planes for production. The teacher is here, bro. You can talk later if you want it. Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, people. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything, guys? How do you feel tonight? Knowing that this is your last day of classes, at least on this module. That is great to hear, right? Because, uh, yeah, man, it has been like 16 classes. I know that, you know, somehow you have learned a little bit about every topic that we have been discussing, guys. You have been practicing, right, with a couple of activities. Uh, not only activities, but also with uh, short conversations, right? We have done a lot of things. So I hope you guys, you know, like, have gotten... Uh, knowledge from every topic that we have been discussing throughout this uh, module. So tonight we're going to be discussing the last uh, topic corresponding to this module and it's going to be in a sequence with the last verb uh, and not, not, not the verb but the structure that we were practicing in the last class, right? So we're going to start with that. Just a short review and feedback about what we were discussing the last uh, Friday. So in order from there to continue, you know, like with tonight's topic, people. So let's just start over with that. What do you guys remember from the previous class? What was the most relevant topic and activities that you guys remember we were doing the last class? What was that, people? Do you remember? Okay, we were, we were taking advantage uh, about present perfect tense and we were doing sentence about our daily routines in our house. Okay. That's what we were doing. All right, excellent. Thank you, Robert. All right, so that was part right of what we were doing. We were discussing uh, the uses of web present perfect, right? So besides that, we were discussing a couple of activities related to that structure. So we also were discussing about how to create positive statements, negative statements, but not also that, right? We were also discussing how to create questions using the structure. Right, so that's excellent, people. So from that, guys, we are going to start uh, as, as a point of uh, starting uh, tonight's topic, okay? But before starting with that, people, uh, since uh, most of you are in here, so just give me a second. I need to uh, start with the attendance list, all right? Just to start uh, discussing the topic. So just give me one second. I don't know why this is like lagging. Give me one second, guys. Oh, now it is. Let me see. Okay, great. Alfredo Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, great. Ana Maria. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Brenda Angelica. Present teacher. All right, perfect. Give me one second. Karen Beatriz. Karen, okay, so Karen is not here yet. Selena Janet. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Clara Marina. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Cristian Eduardo. Present teacher. 
Okay, great. Uh, let me see. David Alberto. Present. Okay, nice. David Armando. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Now, Dennis Gerardo. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Mm, let's see. Diego Rodolfo. Present. Okay, perfect. Erika Michel. Um, Erika. Let's see. All right, so she's not here. Fatima Laura. Present. Okay, very good. Gabriela Margarita. Okay, so she's not here. Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, nice. All right, just give me one second. Okay, Guillermo Josue. Present teacher. Okay, great. Let's see, Jaime Vladimir. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's move Jenny Marisol. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Jose Roberto. Presente. Okay, nice. Jocelyn Abigail. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Rafael Ernesto. Present. Okay, very good. Let me see. Roberto Antonio. Present. Excellent. Uh, Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Okay, nice. Mm. Walter Manuel. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see, Janira Isabel. Present. Okay, excellent. And we have the last one, Yuri Magdalena. Present. Okay, nice. Okay, great guys. So basically we are going to start from the part that we state the last class. All right, as you guys remember, so we just were focusing on the conversation, right? That we were practicing and, and then the presentation that I, I showed it to you, right? So just give me one second, I'm gonna show this. Oh yeah. Give me one second. Okay, great. So basically, this was the conversation, guys, that you remember that we were practicing the last class, right? Right after the uh, the presentation that I showed it to you, we were practicing the short conversation. And uh, now, guys, we're going to start with uh, basically part of what we were discussing the last class. All right. And it's basically the grammar focus that we're going to show up on here. So... If you guys remember, in the conversation, there are two structures mainly practiced, which is the present perfect versus the simple past. So in here, we got two different structures. Remember, when we use the present perfect, we are talking about activities that connects the past to the present. Activities 
that we start in the past, but we don't finish in the present, right? And it continues in a future form. While in the simple past, we just do activities in the past and they finish in the past and it doesn't have any kind of relevance in the present. So in here, guys, we can do things differently when asking questions using the present perfect and the simple past also. In what situation? If you see, we got a couple of questions over here. So I'm gonna explain a little bit about how to use this kind of structures. So check this out, guys. It says, use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Indefinite, it, here is the key, guys. Indefinite time in the past. What the word indefinite time in the past mean? This is like when we don't know when we did an activity. This is like when we don't know the time, right? The exact time in which we did an activity. So basically that's what uh, it takes this name, right? Indefinite. Porque no sabemos cuando se hizo la acción. Solo que fue en el pasado, right? Por eso se le llama indefinite, indefinido, okay? So in that situation, we use the present Perfect. What about the simple past? It says, use the simple past. Clara, continue. For a specific event in the past. In the past. Okay. Thank I you. Do ever... All right, continue, continue. That's the question. Have you ever... Um, Have you ever... Eating more more walk and food. Eating, eating. Eating, eating more walk and food. Okay, thank you. All right, as he says, listen, we use the sample pass for a, a specific event in the past. Not indefinite, a specific. It means that you can use a date. For example, the question that Clara was reading, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Right, that's a question. In, can you guys tell me what's the structure I'm using in that question? ¿Cuál es la estructura de esa pregunta? Is that simple present, simple past, present perfect? What's the structure? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? What is the name of that structure, guys? Present perfect. Present. All right, so that's a present perfect structure, right? Because we use have and the main verb in past participle. Okay, for that question, we have two ways of answers. Check this out. We have two different answers. Walter, can you please help me out reading the first one? Have you ever had green curry? Uh, no, 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 Walter. The, the first answer for the question, the ones that I have ha highlighted. La primera respuesta, la que, tengo, yes. la que tengo, exactly. Ah. Yes, I have, uh, I, I eat, eat I, once in Paris. Uh, I ate, Walter, I ate. I ate, I ate, eat once in Paris. Okay, very good. Thank you. So as it says, guys, it says, yes, I have. So that's the answer for the question. Okay, that's the answer in a positive form. But listen, that's the short answer. From that, that point and on, if you see, the structure is in simple past. I ate it once in Paris. So that's an, a specific event in the past. So you see, in that case, in that situation, guys, I am showing an a specific event in which this action happened. So in this situation, the time is definite or a specific, right? A specific, why? Because we're talking about an event, okay? In simple past, remember, but we had the other one in negative. Alfredo, help me out reading. Okay, teacher. 
El, la, had you ever, ¿verdad? Uh, no, the second answer, mister. The second answer, the negative, for the first question. ¿Verdad? La segunda oración, la segunda respuesta, la negativa, de la primera pregunta. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Lead never eating it. Okay, listen up. Repeat after me. I've never. I never. Eaten. Eaten. It. It. All right. There you go. So that's the correct pronunciation for that one, Alfred. Okay. Thank you, by the way. So yes. if you guys notice in here, both sentences are in present perfect. All right. No, I haven't. That's the short answer for this question. This from here, from here, guys. And on, this is an additional, an additional, right? a uh, complement for the answer. And it says, I've, this is a combination between I have, okay? And you pronounce it like I've, con el sonido de una V al final, I've, es contractado, el I have, okay? I've never eaten it. There you go. Aquí el verbo, recuerden, no es eating, no es con ing, es eaten. All right, tal como se escribe, así se pronuncia. Bueno, parte, parte de, lo, de, de, de su terminación eh, se pronuncia lo mismo, right? Eaten, como eat, y solo le agregan la E al final y la E en el sonido. Eaten, right? I've never eaten it. So, in this case, acá estamos hablando de qué? De un tiempo indefinido, right? Ok, un tiempo en que no hemos hecho esta actividad Sobre la que se nos está preguntando. So, remember, if you're going to mention something positive in simple past, so you have to mention an event. But if not, the time has to be indefinite and in present perfect. Okay, another example. Check this out. Have you ever had green curry? Have you ever had green curry? All right. So we got both answers as well. Selena, help me out reading the first one. The one that I just highlighted. <clears throat> yes, I have. I treat. I tried. Several years ago. I tried uh, it. Huh? Several mm -hmm. years ago. Ago. Okay. Very good. Ago. Thank you. Thank you, miss. As he says, guys. Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. ¿Tenemos o no tenemos algo específico ahí? ¿Un evento específico? Claro que sí, right? Estamos mencionando un tiempo en el pasado. Ah, lo probé hace un par de años, right? Eso significa. So, in there, guys, we're talking about an specific time in the past or event. So what about the negative form? Check this out. So here it's a little bit different. Jenny, help me a reading, please. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay, there you go. So check that out, guys. No, I haven't. I've never had it. So in here, guys, Basically, it's giving us an answer that is, listen up, that is not a specific. Why? Because in here we are not specifying if an event like that happened in the past, right? So that's the reason why we use the present perfect. Okay, for example, check this out. If I ask you guys this question, have you ever watched the noon? 
No, let's let's say another one. Vamos a poner otro mejor. Any famous? Can you mention any famous movie? Una película que se Titanic. Se Avengers. Titanic, ok. Titanic. Avengers. O oh, Avengers. Ah, no, pero Avengers got a several movies. Vamos a poner Titanic. Una pasión, ¿Ah? <laughs> no, vamos a poner esta así. Bueno, listen up. This is my question, guys. Have you ever watched Titanic? The Titanic, like that. This is the question. Así es la pregunta. Have you ever watched the Titanic? Okay, guys. If your answer is positive, how it will be. If your answer is negative, how it will be. ¿Podrían escribirme la respuesta de esa pregunta si fuese positiva para ustedes? Write down the answer for that question. ¿Cómo sería? I think everybody has everybody has watched the Titanic. So if you guys have watched it, when was that? So that's what I want. Write down the answer and then tell me, guys. Uh, Diego, in this case, yes, I okay. what? Uh, 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 who was that? It was you, Diego? ¿Quién me estaba hablando? Yes, I watched it. Okay. Uh, in, en este contexto, listen. En este contexto, tenemos. Si vamos a contestar de una manera positiva, people, tenemos primero que contestar de modo correcto con relación a la estructura. ¿A qué nos referimos con eso? Si pueden observar, es una yes, no question. ¿Ok? Sus modelos de respuesta. Yes, son dos. Ajá, exactly. Vaya. Yes. Yes. I, I have. Ah, aquí responde a la pregunta. Ahora, acá lo que ustedes van a dar es additional information. I what? Ajá. I. I watch. Oh, just give me one second. I watch it. Y acá. The el, Titanic. Right, no, 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 no. Aquí ya no se escribe Titanic porque tenemos it. It reemplaza a la palabra the Titanic, ¿ok? I watch okay. it. Y acá ponen el it's... tiempo. I watch it. For example, aquí tienen diferentes opciones. Check this out. I watch it in. Yeah, so... In. 2020, I watched it last year. I watched it, uh, what, 20 years ago. Aquí tienen maneras distintas de responder a esta interrogante. Bueno, agregar información adicional, porque todo esto, people, esto es información adicional. Additional information, right? Just to specify when you did the action. But remember, it has to be in simple past. ¿Ok? Good. Ahora bien, con esta información así. Ok. So, answer the question, guys. Have you ever watched the Titanic? If so, when was that? All right, let me see. Jaime says, yes, I have. I watched it once. Once the last year, Jaime. El in ya es... Innecesario ahí. Si pusiese, por ejemplo, I watch it in, y pone un mes, in uh, February, for example, the last year, ahí sí. Pero de lo contrario, el in ya no iría ahí, Jaime. ¿Ok? Solo I watch it. I watch it. De hecho, le faltó el it. I watch it once last year. All right. Alguien más que tenga la respuesta? If you guys don't want to write down in the, in the in the chat, just open up your microphone, turn it on 
and read the answer for me. So I have, I watched it the last week. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Very good. What about the rest? ¿Y los demás? ¿Ya tienen la respuesta? Si nunca han visto la película, ya saben cómo hacerlo, ¿verdad? Present perfect. No, I haven't. I have never watched it. Y ahí la puede dejar. Robert, in your case, what's your answer? It's like you got in there. It's like that. Just like that? Positive answer. Yeah. Okay. When was the last time you watched it? One year ago, two years ago? Like, uh, maybe like 10 years ago. 10 years That's ago? That's long. <laughs> okay, that was a long Yeah. Lot. Okay, all right, good. Perfect. Thank you, Robert. Walter, what about you, Walter? Yes, I had, I watched uh, it, and in 2009? 2009, 2009, oh, that's a long time ago. Okay, there you go, okay, thank you. All right, so ju I'm just gonna choose a couple of you guys, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna move on because I need you to do an activity with this. Ana Maria, can you give me your answer? No, I haven't ever watched it. Okay, no, I haven't. I've never I watched it. Ah, okay. You have never watched. Is that serious, Lena Maria? You have never watched the Titanic. No me gustan las de miedo. Las de miedo. Esa no es de miedo. <laughs> Ana Maria, that's it's romantic. It's, it's kind of romantic, con un final medio trágico, pero no es de miedo. Ah, pues sí le creemos que no la ha visto. <risa> Muere al final. Ok. Yes. All right. Ok. Pero bueno, nos sirvió para la respuesta negativa. Thank you, Ana María. All right. Ok, great. Ok, great. Isabel, what about you? Ay, teacher, yo lo vi cuando tenía como cinco años, ya ni me acuerdo. Man, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Danny se sorprende. All right, okay. okay. Fue hace 84 años. Gracias, Danny. Tampoco soy tan, tan mayor. Y Denis es como, como el meme, han pasado 84 años. All right. Ahora solo vive en su memoria. Ok, great. Great, guys. So basically, in there, guys, that's what we do, ok? Just answer like that. If you have a positive answer, you include the simple past with a specific time. If not, if your answer is negative, you answer both sentences with present perfect, okay? So now let's jump into the next activity that we have here, guys. Okay, and it's just, just a couple of questions. Give me one second, I'm gonna erase this for you to see better. Okay, what are we going to do here, guys? It says, complete these conversations. It says, use the present perfect and the simple past of the verbs given in and short answers, then practice with a partner. For example, check this out. You got A, you have you ever in a karaoke bar and you got sing, 
Okay. Help me out doing the question, please. Vamos a comenzar haciendo la pregunta. Ayúdenme. Vamos a ver. Aquí, facilito. Dice have. Right? Have you ever? Ahora, ¿cómo es el verbo sin en pasado participio? Es sun or san. Son. San es el pasado simple. Son. Okay. Have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Ok, great. Ahora bien, dice la respuesta. Yes, I. What goes there, I guys? Have. Let us play. Oh. Okay. Yes, I have. I have. Perfect. All right. I. I. Okay. So, I sang, but in this case, simple pass, no pass parece, simple pass, okay? I sang, I sang in one on my birthday. There you go. So this is the way how you guys are going to do it, okay? Very good. Okay, so this is what we are going to do on the following activity, okay? Con esta actividad los voy a mandar a trabajar en parejas para que lo logren terminar. Les voy a dar unos 10 minutos para que terminen, okay? Just, just for a couple of, of minutes. If you guys finish before that time, perfect. So we're going to be checking in here, okay? So I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to send you to work. Just give me a second. Okay, I want to know who's as a listener, guys. Vamos a ver quién está como oyente, porque no quiero mandarlos a trabajar con alguien que eh, no sé así. Let me see. Sonia, Rafael. Solo Sonia y Rafael. Okay, perfect. Just like that. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna add you manually because I don't want to send you. Okay, great. Please, let's accept the invitation to uh, join the breakout rooms and let's go to work on that activity, guys. All right, let's join. Let's join to the breakout rooms, people. Let's go. You want to put this people.
uh, Selina, can you hear me, Selina? Karen? Uh, Griselda? Can you guys hear me? All right. Open up the breakout room, Isabel. I send you the invitation again. Perfect, join that. Griselda, are you there, Griselda? Can you hear me? Jocelyn, no me escucha? Hey Diego, it take you out. Sure, my connection is bad in this moment, and I'm I'm out in the meeting. All right, let's try one more time. Maybe this time it works. Okay, give me one okay. second. Okay, okay. Give me one second. I'm gonna send you to number six. Okay, let's try now. Okay, cool, thank you. All right. No puedo ingresar, teacher, me, me saca de la aplicación. Para... También la saca. Ajá, sí. Mm, a ver, a ver, a ver. Give me one second. In a second. Isabel, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right. Eh, la voy a dejar acá, Isabel, porque veo que sí la está sacando bastante. La voy a dejar acá y trabaje con Sony, I mean, con Jocelyn. Ella también está acá con okay. no los breakout rooms, ¿ok? Está bien. Es que creo que ya va a comenzar a llover y está y relampagueando y quizás por eso me está fallando la señal. O oh, posiblemente eso sea entonces. Ok, no hay problema. Ok. All right. Ya no me saca. <ríe> ok, es cool. All right. Entonces trabajen ustedes dos acá, ok. ¿Con quién me dijo Jocelyn? Con Jocelyn. Acá está Jocelyn. Jocelyn, okay. you there? All right, yeah, she's there. Irregular. Oh. You know, man. Creo que sí. Hola. Sí, buscando, estoy y no lo hay. <risa> Me parece como Zunk. Como... 
No, pero, pero miren, arriba hay, ah, sí, sí, sí. No hay nada, ajá. Sí, así. ¿Verdad? Sí. Sería la palabra perdió. Porque habla de su hermano. Entonces abajo es en pasado. Uh -huh. Y de arriba. No, I have book my brother lot his camera on a trip once. Con doble T. ¿Cómo será entonces? Me inclino, me inclino más por God. Hello. Creo que está. Hello. Es que nosotros estamos viendo que el verbo God. God. Okay, perdón. God. God. Get, perdón, perdón, perdón. <laughs> Es, ¿Está gotten con doble T o solo got? No, es que got con O es pasado y gotten es pasado participio. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Qué quiere eso? Gotten es para presente perfecto, got es para pasado simple, ok. Yeah, it's okay. Perfect. Un hace mamado. Bueno. I think we did it, Mister. Oh, you did it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we did. So I'm gonna be checking on uh, on the other uh, partners if they have already finished. We're gonna go back, okay? Hey! Yeah, the, he already finished playing. All right. Perfect. How do we go, guys? Well, I think I, we finished. Ah, you finished? Ah, finished. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Great, guys. Solo reviso un grupito más y nos vamos a la sala principal, ¿ok? Ok. Hello, girls. Did you finish? No. <laughs> what what uh, number are you in? 
¿Por qué número van? Yo estoy empezando, de... teacher, porque yo acabo de entrar. Starting. <laughs> y perdimos a Alfredo. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Really? Uh, I think he got bad connection, right? Creo que tiene conexión mala. Sí, porque no volvió a entrar ni a la sala mm -hmm. principal. Oh. Pero aquí estamos haciendo el intento ya, poniéndonos mm -hmm. al hilo. Ok, very good. Hello guys, you finish? Yes. Excellent. Ok, let's go back to the main station. Creo que sí, ya. Es hora de volver a la sala principal. To let's, let's okay. check that information, ok? See you there, guys. Ok. All right. All right, guys, because of the time, we're going to check uh, the information that you have already in there and let's do it together, okay? So I'm going to share the manual right now and I want your help on doing that activity, people. So just give me one second. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Ah, that's way. Okay, so we just did number one, right? So you told me that in here it was have, Uy, what is this? Like this, have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? And you say, yes, I have. I sang in one on my birthday. Now you got it in here, guys, okay. Can you help me out with the second one? Algún voluntario que me ayude en la número dos? Have you ever? Okay, give me one second. Have you ever? Aha. Uh -huh. Lost. Sometime. Okay, lost. Something, something. Something. Valuable. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Dicho? Something valuable. 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 Valuable is like, like the valor, right? All right. Okay. Have you ever lost something valuable? No. No, I? No, I haven't. Okay. Haven't. Haven't. All right. Oops, oops. What happened here? Give me one second, guys. The apostrophe is here, like that. No, I haven't, but my brother... Lost. Okay, lost again, right? But this is in simple past. Lost his camera on a trip once. Okay, what about number three, guys? Have you ever... Okay, give me one second. Have you ever uh -huh, gotten perfect? Gotten a uh -huh, traffic ticket. A traffic ticket. Okay, perfect. The answer, people. Yes, I have. Okay, yes, I have. Huh? I got once I got okay once I got a ticket it says and had to pay fifty dollars right perfect let me see I want to be specific on the following ones Walter can you help me out with number four Walter number four uh, have you ever? Uh-huh. 
Is... So? Have you ever? So? No, so? mister. So is in simple past. Mm. In this case, it's seen. Okay, good. Seen. Okay? Ah. Yeah, seen. Okay. Have you ever seen a live concert? Here is the live, okay? That's live. A live concert? Clara Marina, what's the answer, Clara Marina? Yes, I have. Okay, yes, I have. <laughs> Yes, I have. Yeah. I see. I see. I saw. Okay. I saw. Like this. Okay. So. In here is so. All right. As you see, Walter, aquí sí va so. Simple pass. Okay. I saw. Sí, la tenía. La tenía al revés, quizá. You too. Right. Sí, al revés, la tenía. <laughs> at the stadium last year. Okay, great. It goes like this, guys. Now, number five and the last one. Let me see who can help me out on this. Diego, help me out reading the question. Huh? Who is reading? I have to go. Hi, Joanna. Diego? Hola, hola. Can you help me out reading number five? Okay, cool. And um, have you ever been that for an import appointment? Okay, okay. okay. Have you ever, okay, been, okay. And here is late. Late. Yeah. Have you ever been late for an, an important appointment? <clears throat> Never, right? <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Diego. So, let me see who can help me out. Here. I need to check on <laughs> Selena. <laughs> Selena, give me the answer, Selena. I'm a teacher. <laughs> Selena, ¿por no, qué? I haven't. Porque está leyendo Selena y cuando la puse a leer se puso, se puso a quejarse. <risa> no más, Selena. Solo para mí. Pues no, todas, I haven't. Todas las estábamos, todos los, la estábamos escuchando. Ok, no, I haven't. Ok, no, I haven't. But. By my sister. But my sister, uh huh. Now let's use the simple press. I mean, the simple, the simple past of B in third person. Was. Exactly. Sí, was. 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 Yeah. But... Sorry, mean late <laughs> for it. Exactly. Wedding. Exactly. <laughs> but wedding. But my sister was 30 minutes late for her wedding. Jesus Christ. Llegó 30 minutes to start in su wallet. Jesus. That's a long time. Okay. So this is the way. Right? All right. This is the way. How you got it. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do something else. Uh, how to use a couple of. Give me one second. What happened here? A couple of prepositions that we got here. Okay, and it's, it, and it's on this, guys. Check this out. This is just questions with how long. What do you guys remember that how long means? ¿Qué significa how long, guys? Do you remember that? Yes, I remember when we you was asked about it. About the time. Ah, okay. Very good. It's about time, right? Por cuánto tiempo? So, guys, like these two questions. If you see one is in simple past, the other one is in present perfect. How long did you live in Thailand? 
¿Qué quiero preguntar ahí? How long did you live in Thailand? ¿Qué estamos preguntando? ¿Cuánto tiempo vivió? ¿Cuánto tiempo? There you go. Ok. ¿Por cuánto tiempo viviste, right, en Tailandia? Ok. Para este tipo de, de preguntas solo hay un modelo de respuesta. Like this, guys. I lived there. Listen up. The verb being passed, ok. I lived there for two years. It was wonderful, it says. Ok. ¿Cuándo utilizamos for? Listen, ¿cuándo utilizamos for? For se utiliza cuando mencionamos la cantidad de tiempo en que hemos hecho o hicimos una actividad. ¿Cómo así? Por ejemplo, guys, yo puedo decir, the class last for one hour. Estoy mencionando la clase dura. O la clase por una hora. So you see? Entonces el for se utiliza para mencionar la cantidad de tiempo, ¿ok? En que se hace o se hizo una actividad. For, ¿ok? Now, check this out. Tenemos otro modelo de pregunta. How long have you lived in Miami? How long have you lived in Miami? What I mean by this question, guys. ¿Qué quiero preguntar ahí? ¿Qué, ¿Qué trato de preguntar? ¿Cuánto tiempo has vivido en Miami? Exactly. Thank you. That's what it means. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre la primera y la segunda pregunta? En la primera pregunta es una acción que ya pasó. Empezó en el pasado y terminó en el pasado, right? Ya no existe, ni, uh, no existe en el presente. En cambio, la segunda, people, dice, How long have you lived in Miami? ¿Cuánto tiempo has vivido? Right? Significa que la persona todavía vive ahí. ¿Ok? Todavía la acción continúa. So, tenemos dos modelos de respuesta. Check this out. I've lived here for six months. I love here. Ah, he vivido aquí por seis meses. Usamos for para la cantidad de tiempo en que se ha hecho la actividad. ¿Correct? ¿Estamos claros hasta ahí? ¿People? Yes. Okay. yes. Great. Ahora bien, ¿cuál es la otra preposición en juego acá? All right. Since. Since is the other one. Since. Desde. No. Usamos since. All right. Since se usa cuando mencionamos el inicio de la actividad. Cuando se inició una acción. ¿Ok? Cuando iniciamos una acción. ¿Ok? Puede ser un día específico, una hora específica, o un mes específico, o un año específico. ¿Ok? I want you to understand that. For es para mencionar toda la cantidad de tiempo que se ha hecho la acción. Since, ¿de dónde parte la acción? En adelante. ¿Ok? For example, the answer says, I've lived here since last year. He vivido aquí desde el año pasado. So you see, el año pasado inició esa acción. ¿Ok? So as it says, I'm really happy here. So what does it mean in this case, guys? Since mentioned the starting point of an activity, for it's just to mention the amount of time, okay? For example, vamos a poner un ejemplo más claro. Check this out, guys. The oh, course, the, class. the English course started, check this out. Uh, lo vamos a poner en presente perfecto. The English Clues has, check this out, has, uh, what? Just, just more specific for you. And let's say four weeks.
since what? Let's say last month, like this. So you see, I'm using since because I'm mentioning the month in which we started the activity. And I am using for to mention the time, the amount of time in which we did or we have done the activity. So you see, that's just like the way how we use for and how we use since, all right? So this is the way how we use them, guys, all right? For, menciona la cantidad de tiempo. Since, el punto de inicio de la actividad, okay? This is the way how we use these two structures, okay? I don't know, guys, if you have any question. This is just before leaving the class, okay? Esto es ya para terminar la clase. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre for and since en este contexto? Michelle, ¿me escuchan? Bárbara, Selina. Yeah, Isabel. Entonces, eh, esas solamente sirven para responder. No, no, so, no, no se van a utilizar a modo de pregunta, ¿cierto? A Solo modo de... Para respuesta. A modo de pregunta, no, no se suelen utilizar mucho. Por eso se coloca el how long. El how long tiende a, um, a obtener una respuesta con ese tipo de preposiciones. Right? Porque se refiere a tiempo, usando how long. Right? Entonces, solo es para uh, respuestas más que todo y para oraciones positivas. ¿Ok? Cuando usted va a mencionar algo que ha hecho una actividad, ¿por cuánto tiempo ha hecho esa actividad? All right? So, usted puede decir, okay. I have worked in my company since, y menciono un año. En mi, en mi caso, I work, I have worked with inglés corporativo for three years. Ahí estoy mencionando la cantidad de años que yo he trabajado en la empresa. I have worked in inglés corporativo for three years. All right. Ahora bien, si yo quiero ser específicos, I have worked in inglés corporativo since 2021. So you see, I have worked in inglés corporativo since 2021. Ahí estoy especificando mi punto de partida de cuando empecé a hacer esta actividad. So you see, y usando for, menciono la cantidad de tiempo en el que he estado en la actividad. Right? So that's like two ways of doing this, this, this kind of sentences, okay? Cool. Any question, guys, before we okay, go? Teacher. No more questions? Okay. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so it makes me think that everything on here is stated on here. It's great. All right, people, listen up. El personal administrativo se va a comunicar con ustedes para mencionarles fechas tentativas de inicio del siguiente módulo y todo lo referente al inicio, right? Cuando va a ser y, y todo lo relacionado, ¿ok? Me gustaría eh, el poderles decir más, pero yo no tengo eh, el acceso a esa información, así que no puedo más que decirles gracias por asistir a cada una de las sesiones que hemos tenido, right? Y pues espero uh, puedan continuar right, en el proceso. Quiero agradecerle a cada uno de ustedes por prestar esta hora de su tiempo en pues querer aprender un poco más y cada una de las prácticas que hemos hecho. I do really appreciate that, guys. Espero y puedan continuar y verlos en un nivel más alto a futuro, ¿ok? That's my expectation, people. Continúen, que va muy bien. Eh, no dejen de practicar. El hecho de que tal vez puedan tener una pausa de un par de días, semanas, eh, traten de practicar lo que han estado viendo. Créanme que eso ayuda mucho para que no se desconecten mucho al momento de iniciar el otro módulo, ¿all right? That would be uh, excellent, guys, if you continue doing that, okay? Así que eh, les deseo lo mejor, people. Si nos vemos a futuro, pues bien. Y si no, pues les deseo buena suerte y puedan continuar uh, en el proceso, okay? 
Thank you for everything, people. Y pues esta sería la última uh, sesión. Sure. Con los que no han desarrollado la encuesta, eh, que me están preguntando ahí, eh, pueden uh, hacerla. Miren, la encuesta en realidad creo que tiene unos puntos bastante básicos ahí. No hay una información como adicional que se deba colocar ahí como en módulos anteriores que... En el curso de dos, de dos horas, pues era obligatorio hacerlo acá por algunos aspectos que, que se tenían que llenar. Pero ahí son aspectos generales, people, eh, en el cual me van a evaluar a mí, como yo les he dado la clase, y cómo ustedes han percibido el, el módulo, ¿ok? Desde su perspectiva, cómo ha sido el módulo. Entonces, es just additional information. Entonces, son conceptos like, like básicos con referencia al módulo. Si no lo han hecho, pueden llenarla eh, después de la clase, después de la sesión. Y con eso ya sería todo. ¿Okay? Si hay alguna duda, pueden preguntarme, no hay ningún problema. Eh, yo con gusto les puedo solventar cualquier eh, duda que puedan tener, ¿ok? Entonces, gracias por todo, people. Y pues les deseo buena, buena noche, buena semana. Y pues suerte en todo, people, ¿ok? Let's continue. Uh, keep on up, ¿ok? Gracias, teacher. Por bye, bye, descanso. people. All right. Gracias, teacher. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you to Thank you all. So much. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Gracias, Thank teacher. You, okay. Buenas bye -bye. noches. Buenas noches a todos. Bendiciones. Bye bye. Un saludo de la clase y de todo el módulo. Felicitaciones. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. Bye, everybody.